<laughs> Alrighty, friends, this is Father and Son's Trim Tutorial, and it's starting to get on the darker side of evening here, so I'm going to do a little bit on this plant, and then we'll start up again in the morning probably before it gets hot. So, these 100 degree days, it makes it real hard to get out in the middle of the day or something like that to do this. So, this is the cooler part of the day, and this is why we're doing it now. So, anyway. Just watch, uh, this I've cleaned out once before, but I think it needs it really bad again, so we'll give it a second cleaning and see how it goes. But I'm only going to take about half, try to take half or a little less than half of the shake and, you know, the material out of here sucker stuff, so we don't want to shock the plant, so. Alright, so everybody just watching this, see how things go. Dude, it smells really good, this one does. So, and all we're doing is taking off the limbs and leaves and stuff here at the bottom. Out about six or eight inches. So we're going to go up to about here on it. Just clean them off so that the energy from the roots go up to where you want them. So, remember, any of the limbs and everything you take off of here, you know, like this, the limbs, you can, as long as your plants, you know they're female, then you can go ahead and use them for clones. So, don't fret about taking them off too much. So, all right. All right, got that kind of clean, not bad. Not all the branches, but some of them come off whatever sucker ones are ones that don't reach out to the sun like these do. So we'll let that be. All right. Let's go to this one here. Yeah, we'll take that one off. Alright, not too bad. Cool. Doing this is, really does help with ventilation on your plants, you know. The, let's see, do we want that one? Well, we'll strip most of this off and leave a couple tops on there, so. It is kind of a small branch, so believe me, taking off anything you need to take off now is better than waiting. Because if you got this branch that needs to come off and you wait until it starts to bud, you may be cutting off, you know, a quarter pound or something like that off a branch. But doing it now, it really does help the plant as well so all right that man let's see we've, we've we take the limb off and we're taking another limb off here and we'll leave the rest because the top is out there by the sun very good so all right, so we'll go up here a bit, take off this one's on the inside. So I'll we'll take that one off. So, all right, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Is 
on the whole way up now. <laughs> Alright. Okay. There we go. This is just a little see this little thing here? That's just a sucker. So we'll take it off. See, sometimes when you got that, you really do use some crafting tar. There we go. Alright. Now, is there one on the opposite side that's that way? Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? So, that's not too bad. So we'll clean this one out for six or eight inches. Believe me, hanging onto the branch when you're doing it is a good thing. That way, you don't lose your what you lose your place when you're trimming. So. Sometimes you can <laughs> do that, lose your place, and <laughs> forget all about what you're doing on the one branch. So. There we go. Clean that out pretty good. All right. What's this one? Sucker. All right. And no matter what you do with this grafting tar, you're going to get grafting tar on you. <laughs> So, don't worry about it. It does wash off. And believe me, sometimes it's real quick and real easy to take off quite a bit of your plant, you know, I mean, what you're looking at when you're cleaning it out. So, like I said, try to clean out, take off maybe a third, a half, half the vegetation at the very most, and just wait a day or two and then come back and do it again it'll save a lot of shock so just stunt the plant for you know a week so and that you know waiting just kind of saves it from doing that so this side. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. So, you guys can get through there and see where we're doing pretty good. So, awesome. It's getting kind of dark. So, man, this plant smells so good. This is our Gnome candy plant. The one we come up with a high breed cross the breeding a, an indica with a sativa for medical purpose for my brother who has 
cancer, leukemia. So, and he got that from the the Navy, because we really haven't had any leukemia in our family ever. So, we really did get lucky when we crossed breeds for the cyan kidney. A lot of good inhibitors and positive things about it, and let's see. Yeah, yeah, we'll take that off too. It has been well worthwhile. The gnome candy. <laughs> A friend of ours came up with the idea for that too. They had the name. So. Very good. Alright, see what we can do any more up here. Yeah, that one there. Let's see, is this a sucker? That one is. I'm only going to go up a little bit higher here, not too far. So, but you can see how cleaned out it is so far. And little sucker stuff like that will all make the energy it takes to grow these little suckers, you know, and stuff like this, you know, see little stuff like this, all the energy it took to grow that can go to where you want it when you do this in the training, so, so. really did try to bud when I moved them outdoors. When you can see pretty good. Uh, the clearing out and stuff like that. So we'll finish that in a day or two, and we'll clear all all of this, all of this out that's right up here. So it makes kind of like a bubble inside, so the sun can come through all the way. So. It is starting to get pretty dark, so thanks for watching. I hope this is light enough to see. And doing it in your garden, it happens. Later. <laughs>